Ever had that moment when you're on a keto diet and a wild slice of cake appears? It's like a siren's call, isn't it? But fear not my friends because today, we're here to clear up those keto cravings once and for all. First up, let's talk about ketosis. It's the metabolic state where your body uses fat for fuel instead of carbs. To achieve this we need to limit our carb intake drastically. But remember, we're not doctors here, we're just sharing some keto knowledge. So before starting any diet, especially one as specific as keto, always consult with a healthcare professional. Now, with all that out of the way, it's time to get down to business. So put that cake down, and let's get into the nitty gritty of what foods to limit or avoid on keto. So, what's the big deal with carbs, proteins, and fats? Well, they're the stars of the show in keto. That's right, three nutrients are the main cast in this diet. They are called macronutrients and their balance is crucial for achieving and maintaining ketosis. Let's break it down. Carbohydrates are usually the main energy source for our body, but in a keto diet we need to minimize them. This forces our body into a state where it burns fat for fuel, creating ketones. That's ketosis for you. Protein needs to be kept moderate. While it's essential for maintaining mass, too much of it can be converted into glucose, which can kick you out of ketosis. And fats, they become your new fuel source. In keto, the majority of your calories should come healthy fats, which help to keep you satiated and support the production of ketones. Remember, it's not just about cutting carbs, but also balancing your protein and fats. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more keto tips and tricks. Now let's talk about the foods that are as welcome on a keto diet as a bull in a china shop. Yes, we're talking about the stowaways that can sneak in and sabotage your hard-earned ketosis. First up, grains. Sorry bread, pasta, and rice lovers, but these carb-heavy culprits can break ketosis faster than you can say whole wheat. Even the so-called healthier options like whole grains are high in carbs. And let's not forget about cereals and crackers, they're off the guest list too. Next, sugary drinks and sweets. Your soda, juice, candy, pastries, and desserts need to take a back seat. It's like inviting a sugar bomb to your ketosis party. Using artificial sweeteners, proceed with caution and as always, consult a doctor. Let's move on to the vegetable aisle. But wait, aren't all vegetables good for you? Not quite. Starchy vegetables like potatoes, corn, peas, and sweet potatoes are high in carbs. You might want to limit portions or choose low-carb alternatives like leafy greens. Fruits are nature's candy but some are sweeter than others. Fruits high in natural sugars like bananas, grapes, and mangoes can disrupt ketosis. The good news? Berries are generally lower in carbs and can add a sweet touch to your meals. Lastly, legumes. Beans and lentils may seem innocent but they're high in carbs and fiber. They might not knock you out of ketosis completely, but they can slow the process. Again, consulting a doctor can help you navigate these tricky waters. So it seems like keto is a big game of keep away from carbs. But don't let that discourage you. Remember, every no is a yes to something else. In this case, it's a yes to fats and proteins that keep you in ketosis and help you reach your health goals. But fear not, keto isn't all about restriction. There's a world of tasty options out there. Yes, you can eat more than just bacon and eggs on keto. Let's explore. While the ketogenic diet does have its restrictions, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, there's an incredible variety of foods that are not just keto-friendly, but also delicious and nutritious. Let's start with healthy fats. They're the cornerstone of the ketogenic diet, making up a significant portion of your daily intake. And no, we're not just talking about butter and lard. Avocados, for instance, are a fantastic source of heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. Olive oil, nuts and seeds are also excellent choices. And let's not forget about fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, which are rich in omega-3 fatty acids that are beneficial for your brain and heart. Moving on to vegetables, while you'll want to limit starchy ones, there's a rainbow of low-carb veggies you can enjoy. Broccoli, cauliflower, spinach and kale are all stellar choices. Not only are they low in carbs, but they're also packed with vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Now, on to proteins. While on keto, it's essential to focus on high-quality protein sources. Fatty cuts of meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and unsweetened full-fat dairy all make the cut. Just remember, it's not a free-for-all. Balance is key, so don't go overboard and neglect your healthy fats and low-carb veggies. The beauty of the ketogenic diet is that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. You have the flexibility to tailor your food choices to your personal preferences and nutritional needs. Love seafood? Go ahead and indulge in some shrimp and scallops. Prefer plant-based fats? Avocados, coconuts, and almonds are your friends. 
What's more, with a little creativity in the kitchen, you can recreate your favorite dishes in a keto-friendly way. Craving pizza? Try a cauliflower crust? Miss your morning oatmeal? Whip up some chia seed pudding instead? The possibilities are endless. So, while you may have to say goodbye to bread and pasta, the ketogenic diet opens up a world of flavorful, satisfying, and healthful options that can make your journey towards better health an enjoyable one. See? There's a whole smorgasbord of foods you can enjoy on keto. But remember, keto isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. Just like how we all have different tastes in music or fashion, our bodies also have different tolerances when it comes to carbs. Some of us can stay in the magical land of ketosis with a slightly higher carb intake, while others might need to be more strict. It's all about finding that sweet spot that works for you, and this is where consulting with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian can really pay off. Now let's talk about net carbs. When you're counting carbs on keto, it's not just about the total carbs but the net carbs. This is calculated by subtracting the fiber content from the total carbs. Why? Because fiber, my friends, is a carb that your body can't digest, so it doesn't count towards your daily carb limit. So, it's not just about what you eat but also how much. Alright, we've given you the lowdown on what to limit or avoid on keto. Now what? Well let's take a moment to recap. You've learned about the importance of focusing on macronutrients, with a keen eye on limiting those sneaky carbs. Remember, it's not just about avoiding that tempting slice of cake, but also being mindful of foods like grains, starchy veggies, some fruits and legumes that can break your ketosis stride. At the same time, we've highlighted how you can embrace plethora of keto-friendly options. Healthy fats aren't just your friends, they're your superheroes in this journey. Think avocados, olive oil, nuts, seeds and fatty fish. Then there's the world of non-starchy vegetables like the ever-versatile broccoli and cauliflower and power-packed spinach and kale. And let's not forget those high-quality proteins from fatty cuts of meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and unsweetened full-fat dairy. But here's the thing. This isn't just about black and white rules. It's about understanding your individual needs and finding your personal carb limit to stay in ketosis. This is where consulting healthcare professionals for personalized guidance can be invaluable. So, the big question is, what's next? Well, it's time for you to take the reins. Conduct your own research using reliable sources. There's a whole universe of delicious keto recipes and meal planning strategies waiting to be explored. And remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about how different foods impact your body, the more empowered you'll be to make informed decisions. It's also crucial to remember that this isn't about depriving yourself. It's about finding healthier alternatives that satisfy your cravings and fuel your body effectively. So don't be disheartened if you can't that slice of cake. There's a world of keto-friendly desserts ready to tickle your taste buds. So, armed with this knowledge, you're ready to conquer your keto journey. Go forth and ketonize. Now, if you found this video informative and helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, do subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss our next video. Let's continue this keto journey together.